Just a quick update on some questions we keep getting on the helpline, which is about um, rent. Uh, the government seem to have given the indication to tenants that they no longer have to pay rent while they're in lockdown. That is not the situation. Uh, tenants are still contractually obliged to pay rent. Uh, it's just a question of whether they can afford it. So you need to make sure that you have a conversation with your tenants. For them to say to you, the reason they can't pay rent is coronavirus is not acceptable. They have a, a, a contractual obligation to continue paying the rent. They also have a moral obligation to, to show to you that they're making every attempt to mitigate the problem, i.e. to minimise the problem, to show to you what they're doing about it. So if they've been furloughed, they're going to get 80% of their rent, at, so 80 of their pay at some stage. So it might be you have to agree to 80% of their rent for a period of time. If they're self-employed or on universal credit, they might have to wait till um, June or possibly July or something like that. You might have to delay getting payment, not waive the rent, but delay. So in other words, you, you're going to say to them, I understand you can have no money till June. We'll review it in June. If you get uh, the payment in June, if it's backdated, then we'll backdate and everyone will be fine. But you need to negotiate. Um, if you do make any changes, either if you reduce the rent for a short period of time, or if you agree to a rent holiday, not waive the rent, or if you agree to waive the rent, please, please, please make sure you put it in writing, preferably letter, but email is fine, and send it to him to say, to confirm our conversation as from date, uh, this is what's going to happen. Um, if you decrease the rent, so you know they're only going to pay 80%, you tell them this commences on, say, April the 1st, um, and is on a month by month basis. So the beginning of every month, you will review it and see whether or not you can continue it for the following month. If it's not continued, the rent will go back to as it was. Uh, we occasionally also get questions about rent in advance. Some people have taken the last month's rent and they're saying, can we use that? Yes, you can, but make it absolutely clear that you are using this money that you're holding as advance rent and you're now going to use it for, say, for sake of argument, April's um, rent. So they don't have to pay April because they've already paid it. So any uh, scheme you come up with, like the 80% or whatever, will now happen from, say, May the 1st. I'm going to repeat, please make sure you keep communication going. Please make sure that you uh, confirm it in writing to them. I hope this helps.